Oh la la, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan, and to your post-match presser of Chelsea 2, West Ham 1. Chelsea completing the comeback in the London Derby in the second half, inspired by Ben Chilwell. They forgot about Dre, ladies and gentlemen. Many of you, man, forgot about Ben Chilwell. Oh, we signed Ku Correa. But why, why are you guys forgetting about Chilwell? He, like... Change, our season changed when he got injured coming back off the bench inspiring a comeback getting a goal and an assist gassed man fucking first half was so poor but the second half was exciting bring up bring up the microphones Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. If you could always hit the subscribe button, that would be really nice of you. And if you want to do me a favor, drop a like because Chelsea showed some spirit and that deserves a like on this video to support your content creator. Hey, get out of here, you guys. Get out of here. Ooh. <laughs> that was, we had loads of yellow cards in this game. I'm going to take you through it, baby girl. Shh. First off, we went back to a 3-4-3 formation. Well, we started with Edouard Mendy in goal, who had ups, who had downs, who maybe possibly conned the ref a little bit, for, thankfully for us. Uh, and I've seen many frustrated people on social media about him. We are going to talk about player performances in a moment because that's really important. Thiago Silva played in the middle of the back, uh, back three, uh, flanked by um, Wesley Fofana to make his Chelsea debut. Kalido Koulibaly in that left centre-back role. This looks like our preferred back three, which of course means Reese James can go right wing-back. We had Kukurea start at left wing-back, and we had a sort of three-man midfield of Gallagher, Loftus-Cheek, and Mateo Kovacic getting his first start since his injury with uh, Christian Pulisic and Raheem Sterling up front. Sub appearances, of course, from Kai Havertz, a goal scorer, Ben Chilwell, a goal scorer and a sister. Um, and we got Brio who came on, who looked very good as well. Jorginho and Mount came on. Uh, not so great from those guys, but we will talk about that. It was a 4 2 3 1 from West Ham. They sat in, stank it up early doors, and the first half was really boring. It was really like, <sighs> what are we doing here? Like, what's our plan? I'll take you through the timeline. Ruben Loftus-Cheek got an early booking at nine minutes, which I was worried about. Mark Kukurea got a relatively early booking at 35 minutes as well. That's pretty much all that happened in the first half. It was poor. It was, you know, West Ham's game plan was working for straight us. Look, wait for that sort of misplaced pass. And yeah, you know, in the f so in the second half, basically, when things started cooking, the first 10, 15 minutes of the second half was infinitely better than the first half in its entirety. Reese James and Mikhail Antonio have about handbags in the 54th minute, seeing them both get booked, and they both deserved it. Like, I'm not going to be, like, partisan defending James here because he kicked out, and they're always both going to get yellow for their handbags. But Mikhail Antonio, shortly after, puts his arm around Thiago Silva's neck and it's a yellow card foul all day long. He gets called up for the foul, but when you do that, it's because he's on the yellow and the ref bottled sending him off. He should have sent him off because two minutes later, he scores a, uh, a scrappy goal. Just prior to that, we make two subs. We get Gallagher and Pulisic off. Uh, Mason Mount and Brewer come on. Of course, Armando Brewer, who, by the way, yesterday extended uh, his Chelsea contract. And he looks like that's a very, very good thing. I was saying that yesterday, even today. He does have a touch. I know it's a bit of a basic Chelsea thing to say, but he does look like he's got a touch of the uh, the old Diego Costas about him. And uh, yeah, I think, he, uh, I think he will be very, very good for us. And caused a little bit of havoc in this game as he's done so far off the bench. But two minutes after we went those subs, Antonio scores. It's a bit of a crap show in the box. Poor defending. A lot of people aren't overly happy with Mendy. He did make a couple of good saves in this game. And I do think he might have conned the ref a little bit to, to basically later... Uh, cancel out that equaliser. I know he was sort of kicked slightly, but Antonio gets that goal. And... It's feeling bad at this point, mate. I'm feeling bad. You're feeling bad. We're like, we've seen this film before. We know how it ends, ladies and gentlemen. They're just going to stink it up. Chelsea is going to go out of ideas, and we're not going to have any character. Tuchel goes crazy and brings on, well, this not so much crazy. He brings on Chilwell and, and uh, Havertz, who, of course, were the goal scorers, and they indeed actually combined with Bria. So, in tactical masterclass from Thomas Tuchel, in terms of all his subs combining for the goals... 
Kukureya comes off and Kovacic comes off as well. Um, yeah, so at this point, and also at this point, he goes for a really attacking formation. It's just like Ruben Loftus Cheek in a lone pivot on a yellow card. <laughs> And like I was thinking he did this against, was it against Leeds when we got touched up? We start too conservative, then go down, and then he does some something me- like too cool like panics and then makes some like crazy formation with no midfield. Is this exactly what happened again today? But it worked. So, you know, had it not worked, I would have been like uh, you know, obviously annoyed, and I'd be criticizing a little bit more. But I do think there's a little bit of panic about Tuchel. I still he has my full backing, as you probably know if you watch my content. But yeah, changes are made, and Thiago Silva got the assist for this. I, I can't remember how, but Ben Chilwell scoring at the uh, far po- or the, the near post for him. He literally gets it to the byline and puts it between Fabianski, uh, Fabianski's legs. It's not even a half chance. I, I, I should have prepared what the uh, XG was for that goal because absolutely pulled it out of nothing off the bench. Ben Chilwell reminding the the people of, or the not the people of world football, how important he is offensively for Chelsea in their left channel. Excellent goal by Ben Chilwell. It changed the mood entirely. And also, I want to say on this goal, because this will get overlooked, Havertz obviously scored the winner, but he was really important for this goal. Uh, yes, it was... It was a really hard chance taken ex- like, amazingly by Ben Chilwell. But if you look at Havertz, what he's doing to the defender, he's like, right, I'm going to back you to take this really difficult shot. Maybe he got the shout from Chile. But the way he sort of, you know, he a striker's instincts would just be to go for that and you might get convoluted people on top of each other. But he backs up, he stops the, the defender from going in and he backs Chilwell to take the shot. And boy, oh boy, does he take the shot. Uh, one all. And some more changes, the game becomes a little bit more, you know, crazy. Corne, not only does he hit the the post, but of course he has a goal ruled offside. Uh, Ben Chilwell, they combine with uh, Kai Havertz. I'm losing my head at this point. In the 88th minute, um, Ben Chilwell. Again, it was a Ben Chilwell-inspired masterclass. He, I think Bruyer's involved with this goal as well. It's like Bruyer, Chilwell, Kai Havertz. So it's three of the four subs, five subs that, that, you know, that, that combined. Really, really impressive, man. And um, we go 2-1 ahead. Uh, is it in stoppage they score what would be an equaliser? But um, the forward, whether it's Corne, he catches it. Mendy clears the ball on the floor. And I can't remember which West Ham player he catches um, uh, Mendy as he goes over him. I don't think he kicks him. I think it's kind of like casualties of war. He, they go to the screen, VAR, and VAR rules it out. And we ride out what eventually is an eternity of friggin'... Uh, it goes to the like 99th minute when it's meant to be 90 plus 4 minutes in the end. And, you know, Kai Havertz is getting booked. Um, we're trying to, like, shithouse our way to, to victory. <laughs> Tuchel looks like he's, on, he's absolutely fr- you know, super nervous. As he should be i was but when var ruled that out i'm like we're finally cashing in the credits we're finally cashing in the credits right well who's my man of the match bring the microphones up ladies and gentlemen doesn't matter he's off the bench he's showing that you forgot about dre ben chilwell is my man of the match even though he came on in the 70th 72nd minute yeah 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 Ben Chilwell. Let's talk about player performances then. Edouard Mendy. Uh, yeah, people are upset with him. I-, I think he made a couple of good saves. I quite like how he sort of really made sure he stayed down injured. Uh, you know, you need a bit of that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like ha- if he just got up, that goal's not getting uh, ruled out. It's not being looked at if he got up. So you need to understand that Mendy did us a favor there. Uh, Silver apparently got an assist. Uh, I think he was very good. Koulibaly, he's not his best. He's probably my le- I was least impressed in the back three. Not to say that he was awful. Fafana in his debut, very good. He made that, you know, incredibly positive highlight challenge in the final third. And if we know something about the Chelsea manager, Tuchel, he loves high turnovers. So when you see Wes sticking in a tackle like that with his wrong foot, you're like, that. this kid's special. I've been telling you, man, about Wesley Fafana. Uh, Rhys James was fine. Uh, you know, he's always pretty good. He's about to sign a new contract that will put him on peas. Silly of him to get the yellow card. Uh, not his necessarily best game. Um, you know, feel free to, to call me out on any of these evaluations of players down in the comments section below. Kovacic is just coming out for injury, so it wasn't his best. Uh, Loftus-Cheek had a couple of good moments. He was moved all over the gaff, and obviously he had to ride a yellow card for a long time. I don't think Kukurea was very good. 
Um, I don't think Kukure was very good. He got obviously got yellow as well relatively early. Uh, Gallagher had like um, they've given him a six point five rating on who scored which from seeing it, which is relatively high. Um, I, you know, I, he was okay, I suppose. He didn't really like move me or inspire me. As didn't Christian Pulisic, though. I did. See, he did do one excellent run in the first half. Christian Pulisic, probably the most exciting part of the first half, but there was no um, end product at the end of it. Uh, in terms of attackers, I think you know Sterling was a little bit better than um, Pulisic, but you know he's been tr carrying our attack for a while. He can have perhaps a game like this when he's not that influential. Um, Kai Havertz, mate, even though Kai Havertz, I mean, he, he'd been bad a cup for a couple of games, but at the beginning when he wasn't scoring, Kai Havertz has been working hard. He's been shit housing. He's been, uh, you know, occupying defenders and making runs. He did that today and he scored the winner. So I'm um, obviously you have to be very, very pleased with Kai Havertz, um, you know, for, for doing that. So, and I am genuinely pleased with him. Bria looks great off the bench. He looks like something different. He is he's deceptively big, isn't he? Because he he seems quite young. He's just from the academy, and he seemed to, he doesn't look like a really big guy, but because he's quite fast as well. But when you see him standing next to players, you're like, yeah, Bria's big, man. He's a he's a big boy. Um, he's gonna be really. I'm super stoked he signed the new deal and knocking around. Start him in a few cups. Start him in a few prem games. You know, Havertz is scoring winners in London derbies now. This is the kind of competition we need. Um, ben Chilwell, like I said, he keeps his head down. He had to deal with it. He had to deal with this with Marcus Alonso when Tuchel came in uh, and fight his way, but into a starter. We have bought Kukurea and Chilwell's just come off the bench and been like, "Look, you're all doing nothing, mate. I'm just going to win us this game. I'm going to get this goal. I'm going to get this assist. I'm going to inspire the comeback." Um, Mason Mount and Jorginho off the bench, who of course controversially dropped uh, alongside, um, of course, Kai Havertz. Uh, they were the sort of trio that made the headlines. Um, I thought they were poor, man. Jorginho gave the ball away in our own like defensive third again. Obviously, you know, he did that drag back, was it Leeds, in, in our own box. I, 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 off the bench is tough, but really frustrated me. And then Mount, he, you know, he combined with someone well <clears throat> and put a ball for the back post and overcooked it. So, you know, he's yet to find his best form again this season. But, ladies and gentlemen, very pleased with the result, of course. Um, we had eight shots to their six. We had 70% possession. Only eight shots, probably, because they defended deep. We had, a, obviously, a much better pass success. We won the same amount of aerials and tackles, which is interesting. And we had 10 corners to their three. And I think we had 10 corners at about, like, the 50th minute. And uh, it was their second corner they scored from, which was in the same phase of play. So we really need to sort out our corner situation. But, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. I'm gassed. I'm happy about the result. Uh, London Derby win. Huge three points in a difficult time for us. And, you know, subs making the difference. Showing the gaff has still got some form of control of what's going on. <laughs> Look, we'll get better. This team needs to, you know, just a big three points. We'll get better. Uh, comment down below. And I'll uh, look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Peace.